Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Dr. Hammond here with your Mental Health Moment. Uh, thank you for joining Mental Health Moment today. Uh, this is March 2020, and believe it or not, I have been doing Mental Health Moment. Um, it's been two years. Uh, so I first started Mental Health Moment in March 2018, and now here we are two years later. So um, thank you for those who are starting to join here. It's Dr. Hammond here with your Mental Health Moment. Uh, I was just saying that it's it's actually been two years this month um, since Mental Health Moment has been going on on Black Women Empowered Incorporated Facebook page. So real quick shout out to Dr. Jackie King, who is absolutely amazing. I am blessed to call her a friend and really, really excited to just be doing Mental Health Moment every week with each and every one of you. So I am going to, before I get started today, I am going to put a couple of resources here in the chat for you um, because as we all know uh, coronavirus is still obviously having a great global impact so I want to make sure that I give you guys a couple of resources the first one is apa.org slash help center the other one is at help guide and this is all in the chat here for you but healthguide.org um, also has articles for how to cope with coronavirus and your anxiety or stress that you may be having. Um, and then the last one is, is actually at cdc.gov. Let me just put this in this kind of a long link. Coronavirus 2019-NCOV. Sorry, this is a long one. For those of you just joining, welcome. I am just putting in the chat here um, just some resources for managing stress with the coronavirus uh that html html that was a, such a long link okay hopefully that went through fine let's see yeah there we go and also um there's also a dis i'm gonna put all this in here one one last thing and then we'll get started there is a disaster um distress helpline if you're in the u.s um you can text uh talk with us talk with us from any phone um, for free to talk to someone if you need to. Um, and welcome, uh, Debbie, thanks for joining from Michigan. Joanne's here from South Carolina. Um, Emma is here um, from IG, hi. Um, welcome, and Suzette and Audrey, um, uh, welcome as well. And um, and I, so again, so for those of you just joining, I just put some uh, links in here for you. Just really to follow up because today on mental health moment we're going to be talking about how to cope with all the stress that i know many of you um, are experiencing this is a global issue with the covid 19. um i think of course the physical part is so of course critically important but i definitely want to also talk about the mental health side and wellness and how do you get through all this stress and anxiety that's happening so let me know. Uh, Maxine joins. Hi, good evening. Um, Emma's here from New Jersey and Terry Lynette is from Broward, Florida. Um, let me know how you all are doing uh, because there's a lot. I feel like it's just changing every day <laughs> um, with many of you. I don't know if anyone's. Oh, there is someone from New York. Nikki, she's here from New York. I'm New York obviously has had a shutdown. California and I can't remember the other state. Other states, other parts of states are obviously having shutdowns right now. So let me know how you all are doing with everything because um, it really can be a lot. And I know for some of you that may have children with the school closures as well, that adds on another layer of stress. I myself have a seven-year-old son. So last week starting homeschool um, while working and doing all these things was was definitely overwhelming for, for children and for parents, right? So um stacy's here from arizona yolanda's here from tennessee welcome welcome phyllis is here from chicago i believe chicago also is on a shutdown um brenda Gigi, uh rosa good evening to you as well pat tucker hi welcome dr king welcome we were just talking about you how amazingly wonderful you are so thank you for joining um but again we're here to talk about the stress of covid 19 and what's happening and the first thing i want to remind you of and I'm not saying this is easy by any means whatsoever, but I want to remind you to stay strong because with everything, I mean, with all the changes, with everything that's happening, there's a lot of things people may feel like you just have lost control or what in the world is happening in 2020. 
Um, but but you do have control of of working on being strong. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that a day will go by or a couple of days where you are anxious, fearful, sad, worried, all these feelings? Of course, like that is absolutely normal. But throughout it all, we every single one of us have a choice, whether we have faith in this, whether we be, whether we're strong in this. For me personally, I I do see some of the things on social media that I need to know, but I also choose to follow positive global news. This is a global issue and there are people that I mean, the stories are amazing and incredible of the kindness and, and how people are coming together and rallying together to help one another. I don't know about you, but I've had more people reach out to me and me reaching out to people than ever before. Um, so just this idea of like checking in with one another and helping one another and being in that space versus the fearful, scared every single day that it will take a toll. It will absolutely take a toll. So I want to remind each and every one of you to stay strong. Like I said, I know it's hard. There's a lot of unknowns depending on where you may live in the world. Uh, but that really is one of the keys for you to get through for you to get through this time and believe that it will pass. I don't know how much time, I'm not a psychic, um, but it will pass with time. Um, so Joanne, Joanne, she says, I'm very depressed. Can you please pray for me? Absolutely. And again, I don't, I don't want to minimize any anyone on here that's listening right now. I don't want to minimize any of your feelings, being sad, being afraid. All those things are normal. But throughout it, even if you can find 60 seconds out of your day and you're like, for this one minute of the day, I am going to decide to have faith and to be strong and that things are going to be OK. Believe me, it it makes a difference for your mental well-being. It makes a really big difference. Just try to reset yourself. You're going every person on the planet has negative thoughts. You're going to get into those times if you haven't already where you say, oh, my God, what about my kids? What about my job? What about my whatever the situation is that you particularly are dealing with? Right. But have faith. <laughs> and, and with many things, things that look dire and look bleak sometimes out of that comes amazing blessings and amazing amazing miracles it's so true and i know you know this listening to this so really believe and try to work on resetting every single day to a place of positivity to a place of faith tune in to the positive news out there there is some positive news i know there's a lot of negative but there's positive things too so make sure you're tuning into that um and phyllis says she's reading psalms 91 day and night Chicago is on lockdown. Yes, I, I I definitely have heard that as well. And how are you all? For those of you who may be, or I mean, if you if you're not on lockdown right now, well, it's a whole thing in Florida where I'm at. But right now today, there is no statewide lockdown. The governor has decided not to do that. But again, we don't know what's going to happen next week or tomorrow, the next day, right? So how are you all that are on lockdown? How are you doing? How are you coping? Feel free to put it in the chat. If you have found something that is so helpful for you. Please put it in the chat because other people, whether you're listening live or listening later on, will you know will look at these comments and you might get some ideas of how you can best cope during this time. So if you found something that works for you, please put it in there and add to our community conversation. Um, Sandra says, "Good evening, good evening to you as well, Audrey. If you're a native, the law doesn't apply to you. However, the smell from the spray is so strong you would want to stay in." Um, Emma says, "The joy, the joy of the Lord is is your strength. Praying for the peace that's." passes all understanding for you. Thank you so much. And that is, whew, that is so true. It is really true. Again, you have to choose each and every day. When you wake up, you may wake up and you may be like, I am so afraid today, or I am so sad today. I can't believe this is happening. And that's okay. But if, again, if you work on re-shifting your thoughts and what you're believing in and what you're tuning into, that can really, really help you get through these days of uncertainty um let's see phyllis says please please or she was telling someone else please read your bible for comfort um uh, praying for you also maxine thank you for doing that uh bobby says hello from lexington north carolina i am really having to stay prayed up yes <laughs> we have had a lot of discussions to try to keep the confusion down i find myself feeling overwhelmed and have to remind myself to stop and breathe or walk outside 
Thank you, Jesus, and thank you for the encouragement. You're absolutely welcome, Bobby, and that is so true. Um, please, please go outside if you can. I said that, um, I think actually <laughs> to Dr. King and I were talking the other day. I was like, oh, just go outside. And then she reminded me that it was snowing. So um, I, I forget sometimes I live in Florida. So I am a little spoiled with the sunshine. So I have been outside every single day. At some point, I try to take my son outside too because he's cooped up in the house. Um, so I do understand if you are in a place that is snowing and is freezing, Maybe going outside right now, the second is not the easiest thing to do. But even if you can just like pop out for a quick second to just get some fresh air, it'll be really helpful. If you do happen to live in a warmer climate, please, please, please spend some time outside of your house as well. Um, Joseph said, amen. God bless. Joanne, thank you for the prayers. Uh, Rosa said, talk to Jesus as you are talking to a friend. You will feel good. Absolutely. That's a great, great, great suggestion. And we talked about that. I believe it was last week's mental health moment. So for those of you just joining, we are really talking about how to deal with the stress of COVID-19 with everything that's happening. This is happening. This is a global issue at this point. And um, we did talk about that last week about using your spirituality, your higher power, angel, I mean, whatever you want to call it, spirit guide, um, but, but really using that to also get through these times as well. Um, Phyllis says, we will get through this. We, abs we absolutely will. Uh, Gigi said, this too will pass. Um, Joanne says, I don't even know what I'm dealing with. Wow. I wonder how many of you, how many of you feel that way too, that you don't even know, like you said, Joanne, you might not even know what you're dealing with. And that's also, I mean, really in psychology, we would call that shock um, sometimes because the brain sometimes, this is something many of us have never seen in our lifetimes. So it's okay to be confused, to not understand, to feel numb. Again, I mean, there's a, a mixture of emotions that I know many of you have experienced, myself included. I don't want to say just you. I mean, this is something that's affecting everyone. Um, so thank you for bringing that up as well, because that is absolutely completely normal. Um, and Maxine says, hallelujah, the worst times will be the biggest blessing. And think about that. I mean, think about in your life, really and truly think about some situations that you were in that you thought was going to be the end of the world that you thought was horrific, that you couldn't believe what happened. Maybe you questioned why it was happening to you and all these things. But then from those situations, a, a major blessing happened in your life. That is very true, Maxine. I'm really glad that you know that you reminded us of that because it is so true that that can, that can really, really be the case. Um, Emma says, New Jersey is almost on lockdown curfew, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay. Okay, yeah, I know New York for sure is obviously, um, New Jersey is almost. Uh, Audrey says you're in Florida now. Uh, Norma says, thank you. Thank you, caring about others. Yes. And you know what? Oh, man, if I had a magic wand. Um, really and truly, that that is what it takes for each and every one of us to care about someone else. If we're going to get through this together, we are absolutely stronger together if we're going to get through this together you have to be willing to just help someone else if you have a day where you're like dr hammond there's no way that i have any strength to help anyone else today then don't like i you know i get that but on the days when you do and you're feeling good and you're feeling you know uh having faith and having that mental strength that you need find a way to help someone else too it doesn't even have to be financially it could be emotionally it can be mentally it could be sending them you know, a quote on social media, it could be just sending them a quick text, but make sure you're checking in with people and you're helping them to build them up too. Because again, there's a lot of people in pain, understandably, with everything that is going on. Um, Maxine says, I'm doing okay. I go, I go out and walk and I pray every day as usual and read my Bible. Wonderful. It is, it's so helpful. Many people have found that helpful actually. So I'm glad you brought that up. And for those of you just joining, I was just mentioning if you're doing something that you have found to be very beneficial for yourself to deal with the stress of everything that we have going on, please be sure to put that in the comments. Many of you are. That's so helpful. I mean, a lot of you have said even I think last week, too, that walking has been helpful to you again. Like I said, if you're in a climate where that's possible, I know some of you may be in really cold climates, but if you can get on, take a walk, it could be really, really helpful. Um, Phyllis also said uh, keeping busy cleaning out drawers to give clothing and shoes away rearrange furniture just do something you normally wouldn't do yeah that's a great a great distraction and that's actually a really good idea too there's i mean 
there's so much need right now. Um, obviously with, well, with everything changing around the world and what's happening with the economy, a lot, a lot is changing and there will be a lot of needs. So I appreciate you, Phyllis, mentioning that and just thinking about really giving to others in a time that we may be hurting ourselves or we have a lot of uncertainty to think, you know, like get my clothing together or shoes together or whatever that you need to clean out your area, but also to give it to someone else in need is, is really beautiful. So thank you for sharing that. Um, Rosa said, I was in a very depressed mood about 10 years ago and I had to talk to Jesus. He brought me out of it. Now I feel good every day. Praise the Lord. Yay. I love that. Thank you for sharing that, Rosa. Um, I love to hear your, um, I'd love to hear your, your positive stories too, that you all, you know, always mention on here too, because really, like I said, it really, it really is hard if you if you only tune into the negative, the fighting, the bickering that's occurring here in the U.S. I mean, there, there's so much going on. Um, or you can really think about tuning into the people around you that are being positive, the people around you that are supporting you, the whether it's positive news, social media news, or something that is positive and uplifting to you, like Black Women Empowered Incorporated. Facebook page, for example, that always has inspirational things for you or any other sites that you have to tune into to make sure you are staying uplifted during this time is going to be critical. Um, and Dr. King said, I went out today. Yay, Dr. King. <laughs> Yay, Dr. King. That's wonderful. So maybe it warmed up a little bit. I'm in Indiana. So that's awesome. Uh, the heat spreads the disease rapidly, um, says Audrey. Uh, Emma says, staying informed to only credible sources. Wow, that's an important one because, as you all know, um, with anything on the internet, there's so much, there's so much misinformation, especially, I'm sure you have gotten a forward, a text message, an email, or something of a whole bunch of stuff going around. A lot of it not true, so definitely check your sources. So reputable sources like um, the Center for Disease Control or um, the World Health Organization and those type of reputable places to get your information. Thank you for mentioning that, Emma, because that is really, really, really important. Um, so make sure you're doing that for your sanity also, for your mental health. Uh, Sandra says in Nashville, we have a safer to work, safer to work at home in place, not a complete lockdown, but a lot of places are closed. Yesterday I went outside every hour just to enjoy, enjoy nature. I love that. I love that. And what I'm going to be doing too, um, we've been outside every day with my son, but but also we're going to probably this week be doing, I mean, he's seven. So like a nature walk because and we should do that as adults too, by the way. But it's interesting with his age, just the things that he observes that sometimes as adults, we just kind of walk and we don't really, we're not really completely mindful. But if you could practice that as well and think of you being a seven year old and just all the things like he's excited about seeing a lizard, you know, or like a flower that you may have just walked past or just these little things on a nature walk is really good for mindfulness, is really good for calming yourself and getting into a calmer place because that's really what it's about right now. And as I mentioned previously, it helps to build your immune system because right now all of us should be working on eating healthy, exercising if you can, indoor or outdoor, taking care of ourselves as best as possible. So really to work on your stress level, reduce your stress, try not to get your blood pressure up too high, those are things that help to, to build your immunity as well. Um, let's see, Yolanda said, I'm so blessed to still be working. That's that's very true. So, and some of you, um, you know, when I think about jobs, there are some jobs that are very easy to do work from home. And there are some jobs that it would be impossible to do work from home. So as far as jobs, it's a very fluid situation right now. A lot is changing. Some people have lost their jobs. Some people are laid off. Some people are working, but working from home and trying to adjust. So it's really, really a lot. So again, reach out to people that you know um, that, that may be struggling just to just to give them some positivity during this time. It's going to be really, really important. <laughs> Simone said hi um, from Plantation, Florida. Hi, Simone. I know you tune in every week and thank you so much. Um, blessed to have you, Dr. Hammond. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Um, let me see. Emma said, I'm actually not feeling well, but I'm limiting contact with my kids. Call my doctor and I'm on antibiotics for this sore throat. That's really good. Yes. If you're sick, just like the CDC always says, if you're sick, please, 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 please. Um, well, stay home. Um, but also, you know, like you mentioned, Emma, just 
limiting contact with your family members is definitely what's advised. Stay at home if you're sick as well, for sure. Jasmine said, good evening. Good evening to you. Uh, Maxine, good point. Sometimes we don't know who's carrying it, but, um, and we may not, because they may not have symptoms. That's very true. That has been something that is true. That's why it's so important for social distancing, for sure. Um, Emma says, born and raised in Delray Beach, Florida, and I miss home. Um, let's see. A lot of prayers for you, Emma. So that's wonderful. Maxine said, volunteering is good. I'm going to see if food share needs my help. That's a great idea. If, well, and again, I know I'm talking with many of you all over the U.S. Some of you uh, may be outside of the U.S. So depending on where you're at, obviously there's some stay-at-home orders and that sort of thing. But depending on where you're at, if that's a possibility or virtual volunteering, I know there's a lot of places that are looking even for virtual volunteers. They may need help with phone calls, which you can do at home or something online you can help with definitely if you have if you're able to and you have the time to do that of course definitely volunteer and help the community in any way you can um other ideas that i've seen sort of floating around and i'm trying to do myself is just make sure you uh you support local businesses it's not hard, easy right now for us in florida all the restaurants are shut down except for takeout um so just try to support maybe your local restaurant and you know pick a day to to get some takeout um, that would be helpful or even other local businesses that you know are really struggling right now because it is it's definitely harder for small businesses of course um yolanda said i'm blessed oh my, my job is a necessity thank you for your prayers yolanda i really appreciate that oops um emma said dealing with things that are ongoing before this crisis now it's like nothing else matters but surviving now but does that mean to sweep things under the rug you know what emma i'm glad you asked that question so here are my thoughts <laughs> as a psychologist. I'm going to put on my psychologist hat here. Um, I do not, I strongly professionally do not believe in sweeping things under the rug. The reason why is when you start to do things like that, what happens is it will come back to haunt you <laughs> at some point in your life. It just does. So if you feel sadness, anxiety, fear, whatever it is that you're feeling and you try to sweep it under the rug, later on at some point it comes back for some people they're lashing out at others. For some people, they're feeling even uh, more depressed within themselves. It, it comes back out, though. So what I would recommend is as much as you can, feel the feelings that you're feeling and be okay with that and work to, to really process them and move through them. Um, but know that, let's say on Monday, you're not feeling well, you're sad, you're anxious, and you're worried, and then you feel better on Tuesday and Wednesday, you might not feel good again on Saturday. That's okay. That's okay. Like it can come and go, but make sure you, you feel the emotions and try not as best as you can, not to sweep them under the rug um, and, and try to work through them. And I know that's an extra thing that I'm asking you to do in, in the midst of this global situation, but it will help your well being when you do that. And some of the resources I put in in the beginning, feel free to use them again, find a reputable sites, but there's a lot out there, the Center for Disease Control, American Psychological Association, um, helpguide.org. They all have great information about, and many others, but great information about how to deal with the stress right now with the coronavirus. So make sure you're reading information like that um, to get through. Joanne said, Doctor, do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> Why would you say that, Joanne? <laughs> oh, I don't think anybody's crazy, no. Uh, Maxine, um, yes, that's something I'm doing as well as cleaning my closets, give a giveaway a lot. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see, hmm, interesting. Emma said, Pastor Mike McClure said to use social distancing to increase our spiritual intimacy. Wow, I haven't heard that, but I really like that. I like that idea a lot. I mean, here's the thing, here's the thing, everything, I mean, pretty much everything that we know to be typical or the quote unquote norm is really shut down. A lot of it like there's no sports right now i don't know how many of you are sports fans but like that's all shut down there's a lot of things that are shut down a lot of the amusement parks where i'm at here in florida they're all shut down there is no disney world over spring break bush gardens none of that everything is shut down as we know it so again to your point to increase your spiritual intimacy that's a great idea right now because there's so many things that we can do but what we can do is work on ourselves and work on being close again like you said with your spirituality that's beautiful i love that um let me see <laughs> maxine said the same thing god has god has us in a shut-in to get to know him and to trust him absolutely 
Uh, Elizabeth said, good evening from Delaware. Welcome. Um, Nixie said, it's good and it's time to do spring cleaning and talking to Jesus and Jesus Christ. Yes. And hi to Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Sandra said, I've started a journal. I try to write in it every day. I write down my feelings and what's going on with the coronavirus. In six months, this will be over and most people will forget about it. We're writing it down when the next storm comes. I can read about how I made it through a crisis. That's a great idea. So for those of you who are interested in journaling, you can journal well in a you know physical notebook. Or there's also a lot of um, apps now, a lot of journaling apps. If you rather do it on your phone or if you you know want to do it on a computer, there's a ton of apps out there. So apps or you know again writing in the physical journal, beautiful. I love that suggestion. Very very important. Uh, Maxine said, "Oops, let's see. Why my thing won't scroll down here? This time is good." Also, to bring families close together, uh, we need family structure. It is. Let me tell you, this past, um, what, week? Yeah, that my child has been out of school. Um, it's been very interesting because we've done all sorts of things that we've never done before. Um, because, I mean, although kids before were so into video games, well, my kid, my seven-year-old, we only let him play on the weekends. But anyways, video games or tablets or all these electronics, well, kids can't do that all day and all night. Like, they do get bored from that, too. So I've even seen on social media where kids are doing all sorts of things, which is pretty cool. Um, and families that, you know, kind of spend time together and you get really creative at home. So so that's also, that's very true. Um, Michelle, have a blessed day. You too. Silva says, good evening. I'm not working, work in school cafeteria. That's been really, yeah, that's been really hard, um, particularly with the schools shutting down, of course, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, hopefully we'll be back up and running soon. I don't know, um, but but I hope so, for sure. Um, Margarita says, good night, all. Good night to you. Uh, let me see. Jasmine said, um, volunteer to help the love, volunteer to help the loves that need help. Yes. Um Mm hmm. Emma says, I, I follow a lot of churches on YouTube, so I use what I can and apply it to my life and situations. Absolutely. And, and of course, well, churches, that's another thing that's pretty much shut down. Um, so for the first time ever, because my church, my church personally has never had online church. Um, I watched church this past Sunday online. Um, so again, that, I mean, it, although the physical presence of churches or places of worship are shut down, Obviously, for social distancing, again, if you have to get that information from YouTube, if you're watching online, I mean, we still have a way to connect. And I hope that each and every one of you don't forget that. You can still connect, maybe not physically in person with a large group of people, but there are other ways through technology that we can connect with one another. Um, Audrey says, thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Cover us from this virus going around. We need you now. Um, you said, ask and prayers will be answered. We're, um, we're asking you to heal people. Amen. Thank you very much, Audrey. Um, thank you very much for your prayers. I really, really appreciate that. Um, so as I wrap up here, if you all need me for any questions whatsoever, I'm absolutely here for you. Um, I put it in the chat here, but um, drnakeshahammond.com has all my social media information, Instagram, dr.hammond, or on Facebook or Twitter. LinkedIn, um, please feel free to find me. Many people have sort of reached out on a DM and just said, you know, I need some resources or where can I find a counselor or any of those things. I am more than happy. I'm here to help you uh, wherever you're, wherever you may be located. I'll, I'll help you to get to the right person. So with that being said, I will see you all next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Black Women Empowered Facebook page, Black Women Empowered Incorporated Facebook page. And um, have a good uh, evening. Emma said, thank you, Dr. Hammond. Be safe. Absolutely, I will. You all, too, uh, stay blessed. Please be safe. Absolutely. And please, please continue to work on your well-being. Be well. I'll see you next time.